Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome to my Monday routine vlog. So as you could probably tell, I just got back from the gym. Every morning I wake up, literally roll out of bed, brush my teeth, brush my hair, take my pre-workout, and head to the gym at a crisp 6.30 in the morning. That's just when works best for me. Um, although I'm super tired in the morning, I have learned that if I wait until the end of the workday, I'm like so mentally exhausted from work that I'm then physically exhausted and I don't wanna go to the gym after. And if I don't go to the gym in the morning, I'm really groggy throughout the day. So I feel like going to the gym in the morning just wakes me up, helps me kickstart my energy. So I just got back. It is um, Monday, March 7th, and it is freaking cold today. It's 33 degrees out right now and it's supposed to like kind of snow flurry slash rain um today so it's kind of gloomy which sucks considering on saturday it was so nice out that my parents came over and we had lunch outside and everything and it was so nice it was like 70 degrees outside i think and now we're back to 30 so hopefully We'll just be working our way up from here. But anyways, if you heard a random noise in the background, it was probably this one eating his breakfast. He does not want to be held right now. And I am about to go take a shower. Once I get back from the gym, I always give him his breakfast, we call it. It's really just like a half serving of wet food um, that we give him every morning. Then I'm gonna go shower and um, put my nice little robe on. I got a new robe from Target. I also have some updates to show you guys later today in the apartment. That was a random thought, but then um, I will make my coffee. What are you doing? Okay, I just got out of the shower and I got a new robe um, from Target. You guys know how much I love my gray robe from Target. You're my parents. Stop watching this for a second. I've had way too much orthodontic work done, so I know they would yell at me, but it's just a tag, so it's not gonna hurt my teeth. Anyways, you guys know how much I love my gray robe, so I got one in black because I wanted one to wear when I'm washing the other one, like when the other one is in the dirty laundry, so now I have two, and I have a feeling now that I have a black one, I'm never gonna wanna wear the gray one but I'll wear the gray one when the black one's in the wash, you know what I mean? Or the gray one can be my self-tan robe. We'll see, but anyways, now I am going to go make my coffee. I am listening to, I always listen to podcasts in the morning and I'm listening to the third episode about Albert Fish for Albert, who's Albert? Albert Fish, Albert Fish <laughs> um, on Morbid. They have four parts about this guy, he is, disgusting but it's just so crazy to hear about so anyways now i'm going to go make my coffee and then come back and get ready okay so i just got done getting ready i got this cute notre dame um oversized crew neck yesterday it's a champion crew neck i didn't get it yesterday by the way i got it on saturday don't even know what day it is and i got it from the notre dame bookstore my parents and i went there and i've just been wanting like a big notre dame sweatshirt because i have a lot of cute stuff for like summer tailgates and like warmer weather but i don't really have any notre dame stuff for the winter so although we're getting into the spring now i was like like, oh well I still will wear it around the apartment and I think it's so cute like I just love this logo on the front so I'm just wearing this with my Lulu aligns and I kind of touched up my hair I'm gonna wash it tomorrow and yeah I am now going to go get to work okay before I get started with the work day I wanted to show you guys some updates to the office so this is pretty much the same but I got this cute little I don't even know what these are called like this date thing um, from TJ Maxx and it was actually a different wood color and I painted it black and I think it's so cute the reason that I really like it is because it hides these little cords I have back here and then I also just put up these photos so I got the frames from TJ Maxx also and then I just got these pictures off of Pinterest and I printed them in five by sevens and I love the way that this looks with my desk 
I also think that I'm going to put like my degree up here and then I'll put Ricky's over here by his monitors. And then I'm gonna get like a white mat for this area. And then I'm also, this is rose gold. I got it a few years back. Um, I'll give it away because there's nothing wrong with it, but I really want a black one. Um, and then I have some other things in my Amazon cart, but I'm just trying to really get this how I want it because I want to do an apartment tour soon. I know I haven't done one. I will have one coming soon, hopefully within the next month or so, but I just had a few things that I wanted to do first. You look so handsome. You look so handsome. Oh. <laughs> what are you tweaking about? Guys, look at how dark it is. I am not even kidding. It is almost 8.30. It's normally completely bright in here. I don't even have to turn the lights on most days because we have so many like windows, but it is literally just that gloomy today that it looks like it's freaking nighttime. Okay, but really quickly, I also wanted to show you guys, we got these hooks put up for our coats. My dad came on Saturday and helped me put them up. So I think these are like so cute. I just love the little black hooks with the black mirror and everything and it's so nice because now we don't have to hang our coats on the back of our dining room table chairs and we also put some of these up in the bathroom. Okay, last apartment update. Here are the hooks that we put in the bathroom for the towels. This makes me so happy because again, I just like having somewhere to put the towels because then we don't have to put them on the shower curtains and it's not in the back of all my pictures. Okay, I'm in the guest bath now and I'm about to take some of these de-stress relax gummies. Um, I get these off Amazon. I don't know if they actually do anything, but I feel like it honestly, even if they don't have anything that physically makes you relax, I feel like it almost maybe is a mental thing where I'm telling myself that I'm gonna be more relaxed when I take these and so I feel a little more relaxed but this is definitely part of my Monday routine I feel like although Mondays aren't my busiest day of the week normally Wednesdays are my busiest day of the week I get kind of anxious on Mondays and I think it's just because I have in my head like everything that I have to do the entire week coming up so I'm going to go in the office, sit down, and start planning out my week, but I wanted to take two of these first. That's the serving size. They actually taste really good. Okay, so first thing I do every Monday is I sit down and I plan out my to-do list. Now, unfortunately, I kind of can't put everything that I have to do on here because it's confidential for work and there's like names and things that's on my regular to-do list and I don't wanna put too much of like my work business out there, but I pretty much just make like a to-do list and I really like having this on the iPad and then I just like highlight it whenever um, I finish that off. So that is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna make my to-do list for the day and then after I'm done with my to-do list, I normally start going through emails. Okay, so it's now about 10 a.m. and I have finished up my coffee. I've got so much done this morning, which makes me happy because then it makes my afternoon go a little bit smoother. I also, as you guys saw, filled up my big water bottle. I try to drink one of these every day. It does have these really cute like time where you're supposed to finish each amount of water on it, but I found I drink way more water in the afternoon than I do in the morning, and I think that it's because... I know I've talked about this before, but in case anybody's new, um, I don't eat in the mornings because for some reason it always upsets my stomach if I eat before like 11 or noon. So I normally have my first meal around then. I kind of start out with lunch. And so I drink more water later in the day because I'm eating later in the day. So I don't really pay attention to these as long as I just finish up this bottle. Um, it is linked on my Amazon storefront that I have in the description box if you guys want one. I think it was only like 10 bucks. So I know I talk about my water bottle all the time but I love it so anyways um just checking in I did a lot of emails this morning um I have some events coming up that I'm planning um I'm doing some different social media strategies and all of that so I know a lot of you guys already know what I do, but for anybody new here, um, the easy way to put it is that I am a marketing manager for five different VPs in my company. So I do their social media, their events, their 
graphics, whether it be for like flyers, social media, postcards that they send out. Um, I do like promo for their business partners, like sending out monthly gifts. Um, I kind of keep up with their databases of their business partners and make sure that they're all staying connected and things like that. So like I said, the simple way to put it is a marketing manager. So. I have some really fun events coming up. Like I mentioned, I've kind of been working on that this morning, but now I think I'm gonna take a little break because I have some calls probably from like 10.30 until 12.30ish, and I just want to decompress before then. Um, but also, I am going to be filming, I think the next video um, is going to be like a pack with me a travel prep type video which I'm so excited about because I'm going to visit Kylie in Texas again um, if you guys haven't already seen my Texas vlog from last year go check it out I was there about a year ago which is so crazy I can't believe it's already been a year and I vlogged the whole trip I'll be vlogging again this time but the fun thing is my little sister is actually coming with me this time so it's gonna be like a little girls trip um, Next week, actually, I can't believe it. I'm gonna be there um, in eight days. I'm so excited. I'm just going from Tuesday to Saturday because my sister goes to IU and or Indiana University, if you're not in Indiana, and um, she has to go back there on Sunday. So we're flying back home on Saturday, but I'm super excited and i will be taking you guys along so this week and next week um i'm not gonna work while i'm there last time i did work um from there but i wanted to take off especially because it's my sister's spring break so i wanted to be able to like really do a lot with them i'm hoping that the weather will be nice while we're there i'm gonna check it really quick i've been checking it like religiously because obviously it's gonna be nicer than it is in indiana regardless but um so yeah, so keep an eye out for a travel prep video and then a Texas vlog and then so I'm going to Texas in March. I think I'm I might have a business trip in April. I'm going um Ricky and I planned a trip to Fort Myers Beach for our 5 year anniversary. I literally cannot believe that we've been together for 5 years. Um insane. So we planned a trip to Florida for our 5 year anniversary in May and then I'm going to Vegas in June. So I know I said in my last vlog, oh by the way, my sister told me that I accidentally said 2023 in my last video. Obviously, I meant 2022. But I have lots of travel planned, so it'll make for lots of fun vlogs. So, okay, what do we have? So it does look like we're getting a little bit warmer in League City, like outside of Houston where I'm gonna be in Texas um, when we're gonna be there. So 70s, hoping it'll be a little bit warmer, but I'm not complaining because Saturday it's supposed to only be 56 there so at least we're doing better than that okay so I meal prepped and I made the Emily Mariko salmon bowl so now I'm gonna add mayo sriracha soy sauce and get my cute little seaweed sides for lunch okay I put it all together soy sauce sriracha mayo and I use these um, sometimes I get them from Target sometimes I get them from Costco sometimes I get them from Trader Joe's these are the Target ones I eat like half a thing of this it doesn't look great but oh my gosh if you guys have ever had this it's so fire okay I just got done with lunch I have not had those salmon bowls in so long and they're so good I don't like do it up as much as Emily Mariko does with like the avocado and I think sometimes I saw her put cucumber on there um, I'm not really sure but it's still so good and I do use cauliflower rice um, I probably should have mentioned that because you guys were probably like why does your rice look like that so I just finished that it is now 12.09 and I think that I might film some TikToks. I feel like I've been doing that on my lunch breaks because I don't know what my issue is, but like I can never just sit. Even if I'm sitting and I'm like on TikTok or something, I kind of get anxious because I feel like I'm not being productive, which is so stupid. I also have to film later this week, like I said, like my travel prep so that that video can go up and then I am also going to be doing some fun videos on TikTok when I'm in Texas as well. So I'm super excited. Balancing a 
corporate job and content creation is crazy but it gives me something to keep me busy and I love doing it so now I'm working down on my water slowly but surely but I also have a Windsor order coming in later today that I'm gonna try on and show you guys okay guys I'm so excited because I just got my Windsor package in the mail I got some really cute stuff and I am so excited to show you let me go grab I'm gonna need like a bralette so let me go grab that and then we'll try it on okay I am literally so pale because I quite honestly just have been too lazy to self tan this winter and I'm kind of loving it because although I hate being pale having self tanner on it looks so good but it's just so annoying and I'm one of those people that even if it's not getting anywhere I mentally think it's getting places and it drives me crazy but anyways besides the fact that I am pale so I got this. I've been obsessed with oversized button ups or button downs, whatever you want to call them, um, to go over bikinis in the summer. And I saw on Windsor that they had um, sheer ones, which I thought would be so freaking cute. So this is just a bralette. It's not a bikini top, but you guys will get the idea. Oh my gosh. <gasps> so cute oh my goodness and i love how long it is oh my gosh guys i am so excited for summer so i used to be like a big fall girl and i still am like even though we're not even in spring like just thinking about fall i still get so excited because i love fall and i still think fall is my favorite but i think summer is like my second favorite now christmas is still my favorite holiday but i just don't like the cold but I'm just, ugh, the summer fashion, and especially because I'm so much more like confident now, ugh, makes me so happy. Okay, next up, I also got it in white, and I think this one is gonna be cool because you can see my tattoos. I know that's so random, but oh, I just feel like this just gives such like a cute, beachy vibe i also had to move my mirror here for the time being because we painted this wall just like touch-ups but anyways i love it so much it's so cute i think that this is gonna be my outfit like every single day during the summer It'll be like i'm gonna be at our pool at our apartment my grandparents have a place on the water like anywhere that i go like country club pool it's gonna be bikini with like some tops and an oversized button up because it's just such a look. Okay, next up is this set that I got. Again, it's a button down, but I thought that this could be like such a cute brunch outfit or a bathing suit cover up, like either way. And I feel like it would be so cute to like one button it. And then, oh my gosh. Wow, could you imagine just like with a cute little bag, some summer sandals, oh my gosh. Guys, it is literally 30 degrees out today. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay guys, I'm like praying these will fit. I can already feel it. I think they're too big. Uh, because I love them. I know they're gonna be too long because I'm short. Okay, they are a little big. Like I would prefer them to be like to sit here. I could always get them taken in. Or I could even just pin them. And this would be like ideal. I don't know what size I got these in. Okay, it says medium. So I probably should have gotten a small, but still, I think these are super cute. I really like the way they fit my thighs because when I'm in this position, when I'm sitting, they like fit my thighs perfectly. There's not too much hanging and they're also not too tight. I feel like a small would have been too tight in my thighs. So I have a seamstress here and I might just take these to her and have her like pin the back or I do have these little like button things that I can put in the back so that you can't see it. But I also got the matching blazer and I was thinking about wearing this for Easter Sunday which Ricky's birthday is on Easter this year, so I'm not exactly sure what that's gonna look like. But if I wear this blazer, it won't matter if they're too big, because you're not gonna see the back anyways. I always be eating a lot of food on holidays, so it'll give me some wiggle room. <laughs> okay. Blazer, please be, oh, the inside of this, hello quality. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is sick. Oh my God, yep. This is it. 
this is the one. Oh my gosh. So I'd probably wear it open, but just for the sake of the video, I'd probably put like a cute shirt, maybe something floral underneath, but oh my gosh. This blazer fits so well. I definitely think I'm gonna get the pants taken in, but for Easter, if I wear this on Easter, and I put like a cute shirt underneath this, the pants, I could definitely like cinch at the waist myself, and then you won't see where they're cinched because of the blazer. Oh, yeah, buddy. This is so cute. Okay, by the way, this is not sponsored. I should have said that at the beginning. I do work with Windsor a lot over on Instagram, but this stuff, um, they did gift me, but they didn't like pay me for this. So thank you, Windsor. I love it as usual, but honestly, this is all honest opinion. I didn't even need to like include this in the video. I just honestly thought you guys might like to see my little haul. They have so much cute stuff. So I'm obsessed. Yay. <laughs> Okay, it's a little later now and I just finished my snack as you guys saw and I'm finishing up some work. I should be done here in about 15 minutes, which will put me done for the day at 5 p.m., which is always my goal. Some days I get done at 5, some days I'm working late, so very glad to be able to be finishing up early today. Then this evening, the only thing that I think I need to do is I got an easy pass for like toll roads, which I know that's so random, but very excited because I have to use an easy pass when I'm going to from my parents' house. So I need to set that up. And then I'll also probably edit this video tonight. Okay, so now that I'm off work, I always try to do like one productive thing after work because I get anxious if I just sit around and like watch Netflix the entire night. So I think I'm gonna try to organize my closet for like spring and summer because I have a lot of my winter stuff out in the like easiest places to grab right now. And although it's still gonna be cold for quite a while, I know that I'm probably not gonna wear that stuff. I'll still wear like my sweatshirts and stuff, but I won't be wearing as many sweaters and things. So my closet is ridiculously packed and I'm gonna try to reorganize it a little bit so that it fits nicer and that my spring and summer clothes are more easily accessible and kind of put like my winter clothes in the okay, back. Okay, I know that it looks like an absolute hot mess, but we kind of do have some organization going on here. So these are like my pajama sets. These are like summery tank tops, things like that. This is like kind of any time of year clothes. And then I put all of my coats in this back corner then we have like fancier stuff dresses then my button downs and then we're getting into business clothes t-shirts sweatshirts and then this is like all of my fall winter stuff um that i'm obviously not gonna wear this time of year so it's okay that it's a little bit more crammed and then we have ricky's cute little corner um i also organized i have like all my pants down here i have all my bikinis and my hats and whatnot in here and then i organized my shoes and yes i have a step stool because i can't reach any of my purses up here without my step stool. So like I said, I know it still looks like a mess, but I know where everything is and that's the goal. Okay, so I'm about to eat dinner. I meal prepped yesterday and I did sweet potatoes with chicken, Brussels sprouts and green beans. And then I put some of this Ray's No Sugar Added by Sweet Baby Ray's um, on my sweet potatoes and my chicken. It's so good. I actually really like this stuff. It just has like a different flavor and it's the same price I think and I feel like a lot of stuff like this a lot of times is more expensive I don't know maybe I'm making that up but I'm going to eat this and I'm gonna watch the hundred I am almost to season seven which is the last season which is crazy and then I have to pick out what series to watch next which is always a very difficult decision I'm also almost done with my water bottle I'm like to here which is oh 3 p.m. and it's 7 but honestly I'll probably drink this whole thing just with my dinner okay guys my hair looks insane because I just did my skincare and took all my makeup off well I guess I didn't actually have makeup on I just had sunscreen on but still tomorrow is gonna be a slick bun day because it is hair washing day but now I'm just gonna lay here and cuddle with Squeezy. He's very sleepy right now. <laughs> 
So now I'm just going to lay here and relax. I've been like obsessed with Pinterest lately and I'll probably go grab my iPad and do some scrolling on Pinterest for the evening. But yeah, this is going to be the rest of my evening. It's eight o'clock, so I'm just gonna hang out. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Keep an eye out for next week's video. He's so cute. Keep an eye out for next week's video because we're gonna be getting into some travel content and I cannot wait. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you.